ImageDent would like to present partially edentulous posterior maxilla with sinus involvement using a CAD CAM surgical guide. For submitting this case, ImageDent would like to thank periodontist Dr. Eduardo Lorenzana, restorative dentist Dr. Lane Walsh, and the final restoration was provided by Lab Tech Dental, all from San Antonio, Texas. The history of the case is this is a 70 year old female that was referred following the failure of a long span bridge. This bridge had been in place for over 20 years and the mesial abutment had recently fractured. Rather than considering doing another long span restoration, the general dentist, Dr. Lane Walsh, had discussed with her going for an implant supported solution. The process to go from scan to plan to guide will be completed in three steps. Step one, refer patient to ImageDent for a cone beam CT scan. Step two, finalize virtual treatment plan during a convenient online meeting with a 3D treatment planning technician from ImageDent. And step three, surgery, utilizing the CAD CAM surgical guide. Step one, Dr. Lorenzana referred the patient to ImageDent for a cone beam CT scan. Note, this patient is not wearing a prefabricated radiographic prosthesis. To order a CAD CAM surgical guide to aid in the preparation of the osteotomy sites, a second CBCT scan is necessary of the diagnostic model. It is not necessary for the patient to come back to ImageDent for this step. At ImageDent, the cone beam CT scan of the diagnostic model is then superimposed onto the scan of the patient and a virtual diagnostic wax up is created for a stunning 3D image. Here is an occlusal view of the virtual diagnostic wax up. It's now time to finalize the ideal virtual treatment plan. ImageDent provides all software and expertise necessary for this online meeting. In this case, Dr. Lorenzana's goal was to avoid a sinus augmentation procedure and place three implants in positions number 12, 13, and 14 while achieving parallelism, anatomical spacing, and maximizing the implant length and diameter. Since a virtual diagnostic wax up has been created, the abutment can also be selected during this online meeting. Once the patient decided that she wanted single tooth restorations, then we knew we wanted to do a, the scan and the surgical guide. Dr. Walsh and I got a chance to sit down together in order to plan out the positioning of these implants. We deliberated over everything from angulation to depth to the, in, the implant length, the restorative table. All those things we were able to discuss and, in essence, pre-treat the patient digitally. So when it came time to do the surgical procedure, all the major decisions were already made. They were already accounted for. Employing the surgical guide just transferred what we had done digitally then into the surgical field. It made the procedure go by much more smoothly, much faster, uh, certainly less trauma to the patient. And then from a restorative standpoint, Dr. Walsh knew then what he was going to get on the back end after the surgery was done. Uh, so for him, there was not uh, the concerns and worries that there may be some issues uh, during the surgery. He knew that everything was going to proceed smoothly, and it did. Now that the treatment plan is complete, a CAD CAM surgical guide is fabricated and delivered in three business days. Here is a tooth supported CAD CAM guide with three master cylinders. Well, I tell you, um, when you go into the surgical um, theater, then with the, the guide that you have already pre planned everything, it just makes the entire experience go much more smoothly. There is so much less to worry about from the three dimensional positioning of the implant. From a surgical standpoint, we were able to go in and out of this case from start to finish, get it done probably within an hour, whereas having to plan it freehand and, and things like that certainly would have added a lot more time to the case, and you have the margin of error of possibly not placing the implants exactly where you want them to be. Gosh, as a surgeon, this, this was a, a no-brainer in this case. We, we could not risk having any of these implants be anywhere except in the correct location. 12 weeks post-surgical follow-up shows beautiful soft tissue healing, and here is the periapical at the corresponding date. The final restoration was fabricated by LabTech Dental. Dr. Walsh elected for three porcelain veneer to Nobo Metal individual cement retained crowns on custom abutments. If you would like to incorporate this type of technology into your practice today, please call your local ImageDent representative or 1-866-977-CBCT. Thank you once again to Dr. Lorenzana, Dr. Walsh, and LabTech Dental for submitting this case.